So in this video, we're going to concentrate on my Cork Textile 49. Um, this is my MIDI keyboard. Uh, it has the panning knobs. It has the faders. Um, you can re uh, record, mute, or solo each individual track. You have your pads that you can program, and you also have your DAW controls over here, the stop, the record, the rewind. So we're going to get into this a little bit and show you exactly what it could do. So I'm just going to open up uh, any track. I'm going to do an instrument track. There we go. Now we're going to, let's see. So you could do that, choose whichever sound that you want. Um, let's just, I guess, choose that one it out of there. So this will be for the first one. Uh, just set up something right here. I guess we could just create a little loop, like I said over here. Um, it controls it. And now I just pushed the loop. And then it created the loop right there. And then you can undo it. And push play. There's nothing there because I didn't program anything. Um, let's see. Let's program something. Open it up just a little bit like that. So, uh, like I said, you could control your DAW. I'm going to push record and I'm going to play a little bit and we're going to record something in there. loop sample over here, I guess. There we go. Now, um, let's open a mixer. Um, here's a mix console. Uh, you know what? We'll do it down here. Mix console. And like I said, here's our faders. I have first track and the second track. So here's the first one going, and here's the second one. So let's hear how it sounds, and I'll show you how. So you can mix it, and here is your master. No, I don't need the master. I need the master. like an ambience, put that in the background. You can stop it. Oh, I want to show you how to pan. So let's just say we wanted um, this ambience, it's called Atmo, I guess atmosphere. To the right, you just turn it we have it coming out the right speaker or if you want it to the left to the left so 
So let's add another instrument. Um, I'm just gonna do regular piano, I guess. Piano, grand piano, and then you just click on it, that's fine. Let's, let's hear what the soft smack sounds like. sounds good because it sounds like it goes with it so I chose that one like I said here's our buttons right here it's solo mute record you would just pick whichever you want to do solo mute or record and if I want to record for number three you would just click on whichever one three one two three right or if you want to solo it pick which one you want to solo right if you want to mute pick which one you want to mute so we're going to record on number three which is this hellion sonic first i'm going to listen to it then i'm going to add on top or two on top of what i hear whatever i feel let's first listen I got a feel for it, so now let's add to it. recording the wrong one. Let's stop. <laughs> I've recorded the wrong one, so let's move back. Oh, no. There we go. And we're going to go back to number three, record. Let's, uh, let's delete that because that was an accident. Then roll back. Let's record again and I was wondering why I couldn't hear, hear it. What I, when I start moving this, I believe that I changed the track, so. Alright, let's do it again. Let's go for some drums. Let's see, groove agent. All right, let's see what we can do this one. Uh, we're going to do the 
I'm going to draw this in and see what we can make. Let's listen first. again and then I'll do it. So now I showed you how kind of everything kind of works. I'm going to show you about troubleshooting because I had a problem with this. But basically, the only thing I had to do was update um, my computer to the newest Windows. But so guys, if you're interested in the Korg Textile 49 um, troubleshooting, please stick around and look out for my next video. I'm going to put that out for you guys because I was looking for this video when I was having issues and I could not find it. I cannot get direct answers. I found videos of people showing me how to use it and I know how to use it, but I wanted to, you know, know how to fix my issue. Even though my issue was not for the MIDI keyboards fault, um, I still would have liked to know. And I'm sure there are people out there that would like to know because I've seen forums of people who would like to know. So, uh, please, if this was uh, entertaining to you, please like, share, uh, comment, and uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.